In a distant Buddhist monastery, nestled in the heart of Himalaya mountains, there lived a young disciple named Jiho. Jiho was a troubled soul, always angry, restless and unsatisfied. He had problems with other disciples and couldn't find peace. One day, he approached his wise master and asked him, Master, I want to leave the temple and stay alone. Please give me some advice on how to stay calm and how to stop fighting everyone. The Buddhist master looked at his distraught disciple and sighed. He had noticed Jiho's negative behavior for some time now, but he had hoped that the young man would learn to control his anger through meditation and mindfulness. The Buddhist master said, Jiho, let me share a story with you that will help you to understand yourself. And with that, he began to narrate a story. Once there was a museum where there was a room made of mirrors. All the walls and the roof were covered with mirrors. One cold evening, the guard of that museum forgot to lock the back door, which led right to the mirror room. Near that museum, there was a dog roaming and entered the museum to get warm. The dog went to the room with mirrors and suddenly saw its own reflection in the mirror. The dog thought there were a whole group of dogs surrounding him from all sides. The dog was so scared that it started barking at his own reflection. Then the dog saw a group of dogs barking at him and started barking frantically. It ran right and left, trying to attack. Finally, after hours of fighting with his own reflection, the dog collapsed from exhaustion. The next morning, when the caretaker of the museum entered the hall with mirrors, he found the dog on the floor, almost dead. You see, Jiho, the master said, even though there was no one else around to hurt the dog, it nearly lost its life battling its own reflection. The same goes for you, even if you leave the temple, and live alone, you will find something to fight. Jiho's face paled as he realized the meaning behind the story. The master looked at him with a gentle smile and said, Jiho, your anger and frustration are not because of others, but because of your own perception. I understand, master, Jiho said softly. I will try to control my temper and seek inner peace. Jiho took master's words to heart. He practiced mindfulness and meditation, learning to control his temper and seeking inner peace. The moral of this story is that everything around us is a reflection of our own thoughts, emotions and actions. The world is like a huge mirror, so always be kind and positive toward others. This will help you to avoid stress and conflict and can even lead to stronger and more fulfilling relationships